Staying unbeaten on the road, that's a great job. We came back from the bye, we did exactly what our goal was, we played another complete game. Get used to feeling that way and continue to raise the standards, the expectations, but also understand this. How did we get to this point? By taking it one game at a time, one day at a time. We know we got a great Houston Texans team coming back. Go back to the Coliseum. Let's find a way to get a dub at home next week against a very good team. All right? That's a great team win, man. We'll keep stacking these blocks. Six and two right now. Congratulations to you guys. All right? Continue to take steps, man. Al Gogol, should get a break there? Hey, this ain't easy, man. Love this feeling, man. We work hard for this now. Believe in it, man. Here we go. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Let's make sure that these people in this building understand who playmakers are. Your opponent cannot match your effort today. I don't gotta do nothing different. Keep doing what we're doing. Keep doing what we're doing. Keep doing what we're doing. We're gonna come out with a W, I promise you that. It's kinda like being back home. A lot of success in this stadium. Doing good today. It's gonna be a great day today on the field today. Welcome back, man! Welcome back, man! Everybody wanna know we for real, man! They wanna know we for real! Hit somebody in the mouth today! Hit them in the mouth 60 minutes! Let's see what they say then, man! Here we go! We all got! 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 This video is simply just for those people who just can't let the Rams get all the credit they deserve. The Rams are going to be 7-3 after this weekend. And I see many people out there, experts, YouTube channels, critics of the Los Angeles Rams, not give them any credit for whatever reason. They can't win the NFC West. That's what they think. Uh, this is not a playoff team. What else? And if it is a playoff team, they're going to be an early exit team that can't win any games in the playoff because supposedly they can't beat any good teams. Even though they are first in the NFL when it comes to scoring, they're top five when it comes to rushing, top ten when it comes to, you know, receiving yards. Uh, you know, Jared Goff is having a pretty good, decent year. 13 touchdowns as of right now, four interceptions. We're talking about mid-season stats, and the Rams still have to go through hurdles to please everybody in the league. And that's funny because Jacksonville Jaguars, who have a pretty good defense, they got, they're got they leading the team in, I think in the NFL in sacks and stuff like that. They get a lot more love, they get a lot more appreciation than the LA Rams do. Then you have the Kansas City Chiefs who are you know, currently in the, on a downward spiral. And then you got the LA Rams who are doing everything to, everything to the T when it comes to offense, defense, and special teams. Out of all the teams in the NFL, the top 10 teams, I would say they are the one that have everything going for themselves. The only two games they've lost were two touchdown games. And both of those games, they, they uh, lost the turnover battle. They, the other team, the Redskins and the Seahawks, ended up getting more turnovers than the Rams. That's the only reason they lost those games. Other than that, they could go to toe to toe with anybody in the NFL. And simply, they're just murdering teams, uh, embarrassing them in front of their home, you know, home fans because they are undefeated on the road. And now they can play the Texans next, who are not, without Deshaun Watson, who will most likely going to lose that game. The Rams will go seven and three, and then we will see what you will say. But the Rams are for real. The Rams are the real deal. And the reason why is because Sean McVay is the smartest head coach in the NFL. Rookie head coach. Gets guys that can do a better job than him. He worries about the offense. Wade Phillips worries about the defense. We are one of the best turnover creating machines in the NFL. Plus sacks machines in the NFL. We have a tremendous group of defensive talent as of right now. Um, mainly mainly through the Jeff Fisher era, just kind of moved them around a little bit, and they're playing very good football right now. Also, leading the NFL in scoring doesn't hurt, being that Greg DeLeg is one of the top, I think he's top three kickers in the NFL, if not the best kicker in the NFL right now. Obviously, Todd Gurley is doing his thing. Jared Goff has really improved in his sophomore year, and he's doing a fantastic job of not making very dumb mistakes and keeping the ball in our possession. And it doesn't hurt when your running back's one of the best in the NFL, especially getting the most touchdowns in the NFL. It doesn't hurt either. 
the Rams are going to be very good. And simply, I think, because mainly a lot of people that thought Jared Goff is a bust are going to write it to the grave that he is not good. He cannot compete with the best of the best. And simply, that is not the case. He's one of the best quarterbacks this year when it comes to yards, when it comes to QB rating. The only thing is his completion percentage. But other than that, he's up there with the best of them. And having wide receivers like, Wood, you know, Sammy Watkins, Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, tight ends like Tyler Higby, Gerald Everett, all these guys would have been nobodies if they would have been under the Jeff Fisher uh, and Rob Boris regime. Now that they're in the Sean McVay, they have a lot of creative playmaking, a lot of potential, and they're doing a phenomenal job keeping teams, you know, trying to outscore them which they can't because the defense is just too good the special teams can be uh, a factor in the game and the offense keeps scoring points what simply do you need for the Rams to be taken seriously and uh, from now on I think people are just too prideful to admit they were wrong the LA Rams are for real the LA Rams will punch you in the mouth and have you said that you're sorry that they had to punch you in the mouth that's the LA Rams this year they're phenomenal amazing team get on the bandwagon before it's too late and i have nothing else to say to you guys other than you guys can watch us in the playoffs beat teams that we're supposed to beat currently in the nfl we have the saints we have the eagles we have the you know you know get some revenge against the seattle seahawks and finish the year with the owen niners and go into the playoffs and make some noise if you guys do like this video leave a like share subscribe to all your hater friends and the rams are for real the rams are going to be the best team in the nfc We're up there with the eagles and, and that's what they are right now they're up there with the eagles and the credit to the eagles they're doing a phenomenal job but i think overall team wise the rams are just the better team in the nfl special teams defense offense you cannot get a better blend of goodies. Just imagine this, a phenomenal Washington Redskins offense with a Denver Broncos defense and a Rams special teams unit. That's what you currently have right now, the 2017 Rams. It's just the best team in a position to win some games, mainly because they can outscore teams and they have a great defense that could create turnovers that has the potential to be a headache in the secondary because they have Nickel Roby Coleman, Tremaine Johnson. They have guys like LaMarcus Joyner, John Johnson, rookie out of Boston. Kayvon Webster is doing a good job. Linebacker core is great. The, the defensive line is doing superb right now with Aaron Donald and Tanzel Smart. You, what was his name? Uh, Michael Brockers. They're doing a great job just being relentless and chaotic. And that's what you want to see as a Rams fan. Just watch your team be crazy, you know, violent <laughs> in the defense. And the offense is super smart. They got Cooper Cub, who's got amazing hands. And, you know, we would have won that game against Seattle if it wasn't for that drop. But I'll give him a pass because he is a rookie. And we're doing good. We're six and two. We can always go back and and went to the, uh, against the Seattle Seahawks, who have to rely so much on Russell Wilson. So we will get him. We will get the Seahawks. Other than that, you guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, share. Subscribe.